Hey everybody, it's Jack Bastide, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Twitter account. So the first thing you want to do is go to twitter.com. That's T-W-I-T-T-E-R.com. You'll notice a little bit down further on the page, you'll see a green button that says get started and join. You want to click on that. That'll bring up the sign up form. I'm going to pause this really quickly now and fill out the form and then I'll be right back. Okay, so you'll see it asks you for username, password, email, and fill out the captcha form. I picked the username of Jack Bastide 5 because I already have Jack Bastide. I already created that account. I recommend that you pick your own name. Unless you have some kind of brand that you're already using, you could use as a username. But generally, I, I like to use my own name just so people get used to seeing my name. Next thing down, to pick the password. I did an email. Did the caption. Now, where it says here, I want the inside scoop. Please send me email updates. I recommend unchecking that because you don't want a bunch of email. And now we're just going to click on this little button that says, uh, I accept create my account. Okay, that's going to bring you to this little form here. And what I recommend that you do here is go over to the right upper right hand corner and click on skip. You want to skip all these steps. And that's going to bring you to your page. First thing you want to do is just type in something, a little update uh, to, to get something on your page. So I'm going to say something like this. So I just typed in, hi everybody, just got started with Twitter trying to learn this. Type that in a little box up here. I'm going to click on this thing that says update. And you'll notice that it put it on my page. This is what's known as your timeline. Now I'm going to show you some other things in a minute. So let me pause right here. Okay, one thing you notice here is the, the little avatar next to the name over there. Little avatar. What you want to do actually there is put your own picture because when people see that avatar, that's the default avatar. When people see that, they generally know that you're a newbie and they may not follow you and we'll talk about following and all that stuff later. But So what you want to do is go to, well let me show you the settings. We're going to go to settings first. And here you can put your URL. So I'm going to go ahead and put in, in this case I'm going to put in my blog. And here you can put in up to 160 characters that describe yourself. I'm going to pause this now and I'm going to put in 160 characters there and I'll be right back. Okay, I just uh, pasted it in there. Make your customers fall in love with you and recommend you to all their friends. Ask me how. So in your bio, you want to put some kind of benefit statement. You could also just say home-based entrepreneur or something like that. But if you put a benefit statement, when people see that, you know, if you're saying something that you can do to help them, they may ask you about it. So I'm going to go put, put that in there, a benefit statement in the bio. My URL is up here and I'm going to put my location here, Kissimmee. I'm going to go ahead. You do not want to protect your updates. That little box over there, protect my updates, you don't want to check that because then nobody will be able to see anything you type. So you want to leave that unchecked and you go ahead and click on save. Okay. Now we're going to, um, I'm going to show you some more thing in the settings. So over here, your password, if you want to change your password, you could change your password. Notices. This is important. Over here, the at replies. What you want that to show, it's under notices, and where the at replies are, there's a little drop down menu. You want to make that all at replies. That's very, very important. This way, anytime send you, somebody sends you a message, you'll be able to see it, whether they're following you or you're following them, doesn't matter. So you want to say all at replies. Where it says here, email me when someone starts following me, you want to uncheck that. Email me when I receive a direct message, you want to uncheck that. Email newsletter, you want that unchecked as well. You don't want a bunch of emails. So I, I recommend keeping these all unchecked. And that again is under notices. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay. Next thing you want to put a picture in. Because if I said before, your avatar, your default avatar, people are not going to trust you with that because you haven't gone through the trouble of actually putting a picture or anything in there. So what I recommend is putting your picture. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here. I don't have any pictures handy, so I'm just going to put a like a logo or something, but I recommend putting your actual picture of you. I'll go ahead and put this little logo here, and I'll save it. And now we'll go back to the home page. So you notice my little avatar change. This could be my face, or it could be a logo, it could be whatever you want, it would show up here. And that's now changed to your avatar. I'm going to stop it now for a second. Okay, you'll notice up here it says zero following, zero followers, and one update. The one update is what I typed. I typed every, in here, hi everybody, just got started with Twitter, trying to learn this. That's my one update. I don't have anybody that's following me, and I'm not following anybody. So I'm going to show, what following is sort of like a friends list. You can, you can put people on your list. If somebody's following me, every time I type an update, like this update here, if I had some fo people following me, every single one of them would see it on their screen. 
So you want to have as many followers as possible. And there's many different ways to, to, to get followers. I'm going to show you that in a second. One way, I'm going to show you something really quick now. I'm going to go ahead and go, go over to my other account, which is Jack Bass Deed. So that's twitter.com Jack Bass Deed. I'm going to go to that account. And that's my other account. Now you notice the profile here. I use the same profile that I just created. I have my name up here. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. There's one more thing I, I didn't show you. Let me go back to, to the home page. And under settings, up here where it says your name, it says enter your real name so people can recognize you. I recommend you put your real name in there. If you look at my home page now, sorry, under my profile, it just says Jack Bass Deed 5. What I want to put up there is my actual name. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to Jack Bass Deed and save it. Now, if I go to my profile, you'll see it says Jack Bass Deed. I'm in Kissimmee. Here's a link to my website, my little bio, make your customers fall in love with you and recommend you to all their friends. Ask me how. I'm going to show you really quickly how you can get some followers. Okay, first thing you want to do is start following people. So the way you start following people is you go to their website. I'm going to go to my, my regular account here. And right under the picture here, you'll see a little thing that says follow. Okay, you are now following Jack Bass Steve. So if I go back to my account, the Jack Bass Steve 5 account, you'll see I'm now following one person, which is my other account, which is Jack Bass Steve. If you want to go to that other account, you can just click on the name here and you go over to that account. Now, here's how you get, get a bunch of followers. First, you want to start following people. So, for example, if you're following me, you can come over to my page. You're now following me. You'll notice up here it says I'm following 3,500 people. I have 3,450 people following me and I have 3,049 updates. If I click on the followers over here, these are all the people that are following this account. I can click on that and you see all the people here. Well, I can go ahead then and follow them. So just go over to here, click on follow, 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 follow. And just go down the line and click on follow them all. Now, I don't recommend following, you know, just this is known as basically you're leveraging off somebody else's contacts. So in this case, I'm leveraging off my other account's contacts. So I'm following all these people. But then what you can do is don't do a whole bunch from one account. Then what you can do is, okay, I just followed about 20 people from this account. Click on one of them. So let's say if I clicked on this person here, that would bring me to her website. Now I'm on her website. And I could do the same thing on her website. Go to her followers, the people that are following her. The reason why I like to go to followers rather than following is she has 828 people that are following her. So these are people that are known to follow other people. She's following 742. Of those 742, maybe some of those are not following her back. So I want the people that actually will follow you back. So that's why I go on people's followers rather than who they're following but who's following them. So I'm going to click on here. And I'm going to go follow a bunch of people. One, two, three, four, five. Duh, boop. Just click on all down. And again, now I can click on, let's say, click on this guy. And he has a bunch of people that are following him. Click on those. And you'll notice some of these I've already followed. So, so there's a you sort of run into the same people sometimes. Just keep clicking, clicking, clicking. Okay, so that's how you start following people. So I'm going to go back to my home page. And you'll see I'm now following 42 people. Those are the 42 people I'm following. Now, when they see that I'm following them, some of them will actually follow me back. They haven't done it yet, but they will. So I'm going to, I'm going to sign off now. That's how you set up your account. And uh, you, you want to go ahead and do that. And then in the next video, we'll show you how to get some more followers and how to do all that good stuff. So we'll talk to you soon. Hey, guys. Just wanted to come back for a second to show you something pretty cool. So if you look up here, you'll see I now have five followers. So what I had done is I had logged off for about a couple of minutes, maybe about five minutes, and then came back on just to check if people were following me back. And you notice out of the 42 people that I followed, already five of them are following me back. And, and, and we're talking... 
not even five minutes later. So what you want to do is keep following people in order to uh, to get them to follow you back. Now another thing I want to show you over here really quick is the timeline. Over here you'll see all these people are typing stuff. The uh, CN Quest, Mike Doe, Wendy Bailey. Those are some of the people. Those are the people that I'm following. So out of the 42 people that I'm following, whenever they type something in this box over here, I'm going to see it on my screen. So that's what's known as the timeline. So we're going to go more into that in the next video. But I just wanted to really show you how just by following some people, I got some followers back. And we'll talk to you and see you on the next video.